This video will introduce the third dimension of Rene programming, the z-axis. If a linear step sequencer is a line of composition and one Rene state is a plane of composition, sequencing states extends this to a three-dimensional prism of composition. Please note, this video is deep. If you're not already pretty familiar with the program pages of Rene, go watch the earlier videos in this playlist, use them to make some music, and come back to this one later. You can have endless fun with three channels of X and Y axes before you move on to the Z axis. Okay, are you back? Let's dig in. We'll start by discussing what states are and how to select and sequence them, and then we'll move on to programming a few simple variations on a state for a more complex sequence, as well as live editing states as they are being sequenced to add another layer of playability to Rene. The full collection of programming for all three channels comprises a state. This includes all the settings of the program pages for all three channels, as well as the values of the knobs on the programming grid for all three channels. At any given time, Rene is in one of 64 such states. If we press both arrow buttons at once, we enter a different set of pages, the state pages. Here, instead of three channels, we have three page types. Their names are labeled in white outlines around the buttons. Y, green is select, X, red is multi-paste, and C, orange is global settings. While we're in the state pages, we can see that none of the program pages are active, and the current pages button breathes instead of staying lit solid. Now when we enter the state pages, we start on the state select page. On this page, the 16 locations of the programming grid represent 16 states. The currently active state is lit orange. We can instantly switch to another state by pressing its button. Now this is the state that is playing and that will be edited if we go back to the program pages. There are in fact four banks of 16 states. Press select to switch to bank view. The top four locations represent the four banks. At any time, you can tell which bank you are in by the color of the state LED. While in the state select page, you can use the Z inputs to select states by CV or gate. A gate at Z mod will advance to the next state. You can also select state via CV using the ZCV input. Any change in state makes the state LED flash. Of course, you don't always need 64 states to sequence through. Let's look at a simple use for just a few states that will nonetheless be powerful and fun. All the states that display green are enabled for selection via the Z inputs. We can disable them by holding the left arrow and turning them off. The same goes for banks. I'm going to turn off all banks except the first and turn off all but the bottom four states in the first bank. Now if I send gates to Zmod, it only steps through the first four states. While in the state pages, I'm going to press mpaste to go to the red mpaste page. Here, just like on the state select page, I can use the mpaste button again to switch between states and banks. The current state or bank is displayed in orange, and any mpaste enabled states or banks are displayed in red. Only one bank can be mpaste enabled at any given time. If it's the current bank, it alternates orange and red. I can mpaste enable states by pressing them so they display red. I'll do so for the whole bottom row. These states are now mpaste enabled. We can paste the current state to all mpaste enabled states by holding the mpaste button and watching for sparkle motion to finish. This action does not interrupt sequencing. Now we'll hear that on the state select page I can move through these states and they are, right now, all the same. Let's program some variations. We'll go back to the program pages by pressing left and right at once. I'll give the C channel a one octave range on the first state, then go to the second state and make it a two octave range. Now we can hear a difference between one state and the next. I'd like to go ahead and give the third and fourth state three and four octave ranges respectively. But do I really have to go back and forth from the state select page to the program pages every time? The answer is no. Let's go to the global page with the C global button and look for the option called Z on. When this is on, we can use the Z mod and Z CV inputs to change state no matter what page we're on. This can be dangerous because it allows you to edit a whole bunch of states quickly while sequencing them. That's why Z on defaults to off. But Z on can also be very powerful. Let's go back to the program pages. 
I'm going to use a manual gate from pressure points to step through states with Zmod. Since I have enabled Z on on the global page, I can do this even when I'm in a program page. Here's state one with one octave range. State two, two octave range. State three, let's make it three octave range. And state four, let's make it four octave range. Now let's use a divide by four clock from Tempe to automate the Zmod control. We'll take that divide by four clock and switch states every four clock pulses. With Zeon turned on, we can edit any page while also sequencing states. Let's change up the gate sequencing too. We can sequence Zmod at any rate. It will never interrupt the sequence. Instead, it lets Rene move to the next state with its current locations intact, just like adding a third axis of motion. If a linear step sequencer is a line of composition, and one Rene state is a plane of composition, sequencing states extends this to a three-dimensional prism of composition. Let's let the fourth state be in a different key. Before I make any more edits, I'd like to store what I've done so far. To do this, I'll head back to the global page. The bottom right corner button is store. This button stores all currently select enabled states as well as the settings of the global page itself. A store procedure does take a few seconds, but this is the only thing you can do that will interrupt Renee's sequencing. Let's mess around with these states a little bit. I'm going to change things quasi-randomly on all four states to see what happens. If I ever want to go back to the way it was right after I stored, I can go to the global page and press the upper right button to revert all states and global settings instantaneously. This is very powerful for performance, as we can do all kinds of edits to as many states as we want and then jump back to where we started at the press of a button. For the sake of explanation, we have only used the Cartesian channel in this video, but of course the z-axis applies to all three channels. I have not done any programming on the x or y channels for these states. In the next video, we'll go into mesh programming for filling already existing states with additional programming. <laughs>